This is the KGM Torres EVX, and this is its price, 36,995 pounds. A big electric SUV, cheaper than many compact hatchbacks. But that's not the shocking part. The real shock is here. Battery warranty, 1 million kilometers. A struggling Korean brand suddenly announces a warranty number that sounds insane. Like promising your mom you'll show up to work on time for the next 100 years. Zero logic. But KGM isn't joking. They dare to say it because they have serious backup. BYD batteries. This three-way triangle, Korea plus Chinese battery tech plus European pricing, will it create a new formula? Or a slow-burning time bomb? Today, CarCry will break it down. KGM has put everything on BYD's LFP pack. Is this strategy genius or a fatal mistake? If you've been into cars for years, you know exactly who Song Young was. A brand that went through tough times. Like that one friend, always starting a new business, always going bankrupt, then changing names to start life over again. Song Young became KGM, KG Mobility. And this isn't just a rebrand, it's a declaration of rebirth. They need a breakthrough, a product strong enough, cheap enough, to stand against the giants. Tesla, VW, Hyundai, Kia. Here's the problem. To make an affordable EV, you need affordable batteries. Cheap batteries, but good batteries. And most importantly, stable supply. Their Korean rivals? They use their own cells. Samsung SDI. LG Energy Solution. Amazing tech, but expensive. KGM doesn't have that power. They can't build a 1 million kilometer battery on their own. So what do they do? They follow a path Tesla once took, but with even more boldness. They turn to China. They partner with the giant BYD. This is an unusual alliance, like inviting your rival's ex to become your new partner. People may criticize it, but if it works, it's a win. Now let's talk about the battery, the heart of the Torres EVX. It's an LFP pack, lithium iron phosphate, 73.4 kilowatt hours of capacity. So what's good about LFP? First, safety. Safe like a sleeping dog. LFP cells are extremely hard to ignite. Their chemistry is far more stable than traditional NMC. A big deal for first-time EV buyers. Second, Cost. LFP is cheap. It avoids rare and expensive materials like cobalt and nickel. That helps KGM cut production costs to hit that shocking 36K price. But the real trick is cell to pack. Imagine a normal battery. Cell, module, pack. Three layers. Wasted space. BYD removes the module layer. Cell to pack like ditching your leather wallet and carrying only cash. It frees up room, letting the Torres EVX squeeze in a larger 73.4 kilowatt hour pack, boosts energy density, and delivers 462 kilometers WLTP. However, every technology has a dark side. LFP hates cold weather. Charging speed drops, range drops even more. Especially in Western markets, where KGM wants to compete. Has KGM solved this? We don't know. What we do know is that they're betting big. This is where we circle back to the detail that made you click on this video. Remember it? That one million kilometer warranty. It's like that sunscreen ad you once saw, the one claiming protection for life. One million kilometers. That's about 25 trips around the Earth, or roughly 150 years of driving for the average European. It makes no sense. No one drives a million kilometers without selling the car or destroying it first. So what is this? A genius marketing trick. In the best possible way. Why? First, trust from zero. KGM is a new name. They need something outrageous to make buyers trust BYD's battery. 
a million kilometer promised says, we believe in our LFP battery this much. It kills the fear people have about EV battery lifespan. Second, battery replacement costs are lower because LFP is cheaper. The risk for KGM is far smaller than Grand's using expensive NMC packs. They accept this 1 million kilometer gamble because they know the chance of an average driver triggering that warranty is basically zero. But the PR impact, the viral effect, the peace of mind psychology, 100%. In short, KGM is using warranty as a PR weapon, not to replace your battery, but to make you confident enough to buy the car today. And at 36K, it worked. They forced us to believe in BYD's battery. So, after breaking down the formula, shocking price plus BYD's 1 million kilometer battery, where does the Taurus EVX actually stand? It's not a speed warrior, it's not the king of ultra-fast charging either, but it is the king of value EVs. While rivals chase performance numbers, KGM focuses on core value. A spacious cabin, a practical 703-liter trunk, a range that's enough for real life, 462 kilometers WLTP, and most importantly, a price regular families can reach. This is exactly what global markets are craving. Not everyone wants a 50K or 60K EV that hits 0 to 100 in 3 seconds. Most people just want an electric SUV that can replace their aging gas burner without refinancing the house. And thanks to BYD's LFP battery strategy, the Torres EVX steps into a territory big brands avoid, the EV for every household. KGM saved itself by doing what no one expected. Final point. The Torres EVX is a challenge. A challenge to traditional automakers and a challenge to the way we think about warranties. If you want an electric SUV that's affordable, durable, and comes with a whole saga of drama, the Torres EVX is your answer. But can LFP truly conquer harsh winters? That's something we'll have to wait and see. Don't buy the Torres EVX unless you want a stubborn, value-driven machine with a warranty that follows you to the grave. What do you think of this KGM plus BYD formula? Genius or reckless? Drop your thoughts below. And don't forget to subscribe to Car Cry so we can keep exposing the wild cards of the EV world. See you next time.